Once upon a time there were three brown bears And they lived in the deep dark woods One fine day as the porridge cooled They walked around the neighborhood The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods A little girl skipped along Goldilocks was the little girl's name And she didn't know right from wrong Hello? Is anyone home? In the kitchen she saw three bulls On the kitchen table She grabbed a chair and climbed right up As fast as she was able Yummy! Porridge! She took a taste from Papa's bowl Yuck! It's much too hot! She took a taste from Mama's bowl Yuck! It's much too cold! She took a taste from Baby's bowl This one tastes just right! And she ate with a spoon And very, very soon She swallowed every bite Look at those comfy rocking chairs! She sat down on Papa Bear's chair this is much too hard. She sat down on Mama Bear's chair. This is much too soft. She sat down on Baby Bear's chair. This one feels just right. And she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart. She had quite a fright. Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds. She laid down on Papa Bear's bed. This is much too hard. She laid down on Mama Bear's bed This is much too soft She laid down on Baby Bear's bed This one feels just right She pulled back the covers and snuggled in And then turned off the light Good night! Someone's been eating from my bowl Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been eating from my bowl Said Big Mama Bear Someone's been eating from my bowl And there's nothing left for me A Baby Bear was very sad As sad as sad can be Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been sitting in my chair Sleeping in my bed Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Big Mama Bear Someone's been sleeping in my bed And she is still there And Goldilocks woke up to see Three very angry bears Not so fast Said Papa We'd better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. can run faster than you. Faster than anyone or anything. Oh, really? Well, then I'd like to challenge you to a race. A race? Indeed. <laughs> what fun. Once upon a time, a tortoise and a hare decided on a race just for a dare. The hare was very sure he would win hands down, but the tortoise Archibald thought, That won't get me down. Hedgewick the hare was speedy, and Archibald was slow. He almost missed his cue when they said, Ready, set, go. Slow and steady wins the race, be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. 
The hare raced like a bullet at the speed of light. While the tortoise took his time, he had a goal in sight. Hedgewick knew he'd win, so he stopped to take a nap. As Archibald was nowhere close to catching up in laps. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. So the hare fell asleep under a shady tree And Archie heard him snore as he passed him on mile three When Archie crossed the finish line, everyone said Hooray! Hedgewig heard the noise Well, well, you don't say Slow and steady wins the race Be like Archie Ball He wasn't very snappy But always gave his all a gold medal for Archie Ball. He cheated! Hedgewig cried. He won fair and square with a slow and steady stride. Hedgewig now was sad he didn't win the race. But Archie tried to cheer him. Put on a happy face. It's just a silly contest, not worth a silly fight. Friendship's what's important. And with that, they made things right. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archie Ball. That sleepy tortoise finished first. And he didn't run, he crawled. through the woods and woke a sleeping lion angrily he grabbed that mouse she was scared and crying she said if you let me go I'll help you someday soon you'll see when you need me I'll be there you'll count on Lion said, You tiny thing, what could you do for me? Tell you what, ha <laughs> ha, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you. Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and alone. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. Lions roared and scurried to the sea. She gnawed the rope, released the lion and said, Now we're a team. Lion answered, I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. The lion and the mouse And I'll hop and I'll 
With a bundle of sticks Two little pigs were in a fix One built a house with a bundle of sticks A wolf came along and began knocking Knock, 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 knock Little pig, little pig, let me come in No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in Huff, puff Quick, quick, quick He built his house with a load of bricks One little pig screamed Quick, quick, quick He built his house with a load of bricks A wolf came along and began knocking Knock, 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 knock Little pig, little pig, let me come in No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in Huff! But he could not blow the house down And the three little pigs lived happily in the brick house Once upon a time there were three billy goats They went across a river but hadn't any boats Look over there, there's a bridge, can you see? We'll cross to the hills where the grass grows free <laughs> The little billy goat, he first began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said a troll from below and came up close. <laughs> I'm going to gobble you, said the troll of the river. Little goat said, I'm tiny, my brother's much bigger. Wait a little bit, he's going to come through. The troll said, hmm, be off with you. Second Billy Goat, he began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said the troll from below and came up close I'm going to gobble you, said the troll of the river The goat said, I'm small, my brother's much bigger Wait a little bit, he's going to come through The troll said, hmm, be off with you Meh, 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 meh The big billy goat then began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said a troll from below and came up close Going to gobble you, said the troll to the goat. The goat stared at him, made a noise with his throat. He charged with his horn and knocked the troll down. The three billy goats lived happily then. In the forest Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear 
sat down to eat their porridge. Mm, much too hot. Proud Papa Bear, let's go and walk in the forest. That's when Goldilocks came by, found the house in the thicket. Knock, 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 no answer so. Goldie entered the kitchen. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right. Just right. Just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room she spied chairs of three different sizes. They look quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right. Just right. Just right. Just as Goldie settled in, that chair broke into pieces. Goldie went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed, just right, just right, just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep, three bears. My porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby. And they ate it all up. Ate it all up. They walked into the living room and what do you think they noticed? Mm, someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby. And they broke it. In their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? Mm, someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby And there she is, there she is Goldilocks woke up and saw Three brown bears staring at her She screamed How? Jumped out of bed Clatter down the stairs and through the door. Gold is gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Beans out 
tall and green It went all the way up to the sky This is a stalk I have to climb He climbed and he climbed and climbed some more Through the clouds he saw a door Look at that castle, so very big I wonder who lives inside that thing Then the door something to eat. She cooked some breakfast for the boy, but at the door there was a giant noise. Fee, fi, fo, boy, I smell a little boy. Smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away. He grabbed the golden egg on his way. He climbed back down the green bean stalk and gave the egg to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the sky. He found a golden harp in the castle of high. I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away But the giant chased him all the way He climbed down the beanstalk really fast And chop, chop, chopped it down Now Jack and his mom had so much gold They were rich until they were old They both lived happily
time. That's the boy who always cries. He tricks us all with his lies. Nobody helped him. No one cared. But there's a wolf. Really, I swear. The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There is a lesson to this song. Lying to people is always wrong. done for telling the truth, Mark. Yep. No more crying wolf for this boy. <laughs> hey, do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do. And it's my favorite. Once upon a time, in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed. So off she went, with a basket of bread. Off I go, adventure time. Stick to the path, and I'll be fine. Suddenly the big bad wolf appeared, with big sharp teeth. Plan, and off he ran to Grandma's house on the other side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here for Little Red Riding Hood to appear. Clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer, take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come.
are you doing in my neighborhood? The lion grabbed the little mouse, held her up high. Please, sir, let me go. Let you go? Tell me why. Think you can help me? <laughs> You're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Somebody help me! The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. They ran to the lion, grabbed the rope, and started to chew. Never have laughed at you at all. Don't worry, we understand. Let's just be friends. Are we cool, my man? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. Yeah, the lion. And I'll 
puff and I'll blow your house down.
the bears were not very happy at all. They went upstairs to find the intruder. Someone's been sleeping in Papa Bear's bed. Someone's been sleeping in Mama Bear's bed. Someone's been sleeping in Baby's too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. There she is. Who are you? I'm Goldilocks. And who are you? We're the three bears. She wasn't a welcome guest, and the three bears chased her right out of their house. <laughs> she ran all the way home and never returned. A very good lesson she had learned. Again, the bears' home was filled with laughter, and they lived happily. Tell us the story about the little girl who always wore red. Yeah, and, and I want to hear about the big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now settle down, and I'll tell you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. <laughs> there once was a girl all cloaked in red. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm taking a walk. That's what she said. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to Grandma's all cut. I know a shortcut that's pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. La 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 la. Little la, Red, la. don't talk to any strangers. Yes, ma'am. La 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 la. Mama gave Little Red some special treats. Oh yeah, oh yeah. To bring to her grandma sweets to eat. Oh yeah. Once in the woods a wolf stopped oh. Little Red He said Well hello little one Then get it go She said Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah <laughs> Well, I I'm really not supposed to talk to anyone But I must get to Grandma She's not doing well Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah Said Little Red And you kind of smell Oh yeah, to you. oh yeah then as she took off, the wolf followed near <laughs> And then raced ahead when the coast was clear Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear <laughs> Yes, oh. that's right, kitties oh. <laughs> The wolf ended up at Grandma's place Oh no, oh no And scared her with his hairy face <gasps> Oh no, oh no The wolf locked her up, then put on her clothes And got into bed a grannyish pose. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> oh, yes, come in, dear. Hi, Granny. Said Red when she walked through the door. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've brought some treats from the goodie store. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh nice. Said the wolf then really big. Oh. That's when Little Red saw the wig. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. <laughs> Is that so? And Granny, what big eyes you have. <laughs> Is that so? And Granny, what big teeth you have. <laughs> the better, dear, <gasps> to eat you with. Oh, no. <laughs> Riding Hood Oh yeah, oh yeah Then a huntsman who was chopping wood Oh yeah, oh yeah Burst in 
and shook the wolf all about Unlock the door and let Granny out Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah You big bad wolf Granny <laughs> Well, Granny was scared but she was okay Oh yeah, oh yeah And Little Red said I learned a lesson today Oh yeah, oh yeah Don't talk to strangers How about that? And Granny and Red had a nice long chat Oh yeah, oh yeah To the big bad wolf. They sent him away and he never came back. Phew! What a relief! Well, well, what happened to the basket of goodies she brought to Grandma's house? Uh, anything left for me? <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> to hear the story of the lion and the rabbit. <gasps> Me! I do, I do. Can I pretend to play the rabbit? Well, of course. Uh, I want to be the big bad lion. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in the woods. Along came a bunny from the neighborhood. She accidentally brushed up against the lion's toes. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Lion, she said, and then she froze. Uh, uh, it, it was just an accident. Huh? The lion dropped his paw, smack on the bunny's tail. Ha 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 ha! I caught ya! Now you're in lion's jail. <gasps> oh, please, Mr. Lion, spare me just this. Being kind. <laughs> I will, you know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A little bunny helping me. <laughs> well, perhaps I'll let you go, but only just this time. You're just a little bunny with a feeble little mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. See the smile up on my face. Every act of kindness makes the world a better place. <laughs> you see, it already is. <laughs> and with that, the great big lion let the little bunny go. That was nice of the lion. <laughs> yeah, but you'll never believe what happened next. <gasps> oh, <Ooh>, my. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spill the dirt. <laughs> yeah. One day a hunter caught the lion in a net and suddenly the lion began to really sweat he roared and roared so loud that the bunny heard him cry is that my friend the lion oh goodness me oh my Stretch. The hole became so big that the lion made it out. He looked at her in shock and said, What's this all about? Oh, well, that's what friends are for. Whatever do you mean? It's good to help a friend. I always keep my promises to the very end. I told you I'd repay you, Mr. Lion C. This is a gift that always sets you free. <laughs> See, you're free. <laughs> the lion purred, and they lived happily ever after. Like best friends? Yes, indeed, he do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, let's read the one about Goldilocks. <laughs> yeah! 
Oh, yes. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Well, once upon a time... Goldilocks went for a walk and came upon a house in the woods. The house belonged to three bears. I'd like to go in if I could. Well, you don't say. Goldilocks walked right in and found three bowls full of food. <gasps> Porridge, she said. How nice. Mm, 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 that's really good. But... The first one was too hot. Ouch! The second one was too cold. <laughs> the third one, well... Behold! Now this one is just right. Mmm, <laughs> that porridge was yummy. I think I'll go get comfy in the living room. <laughs> Goldilocks went to the living room where she found three very nice chairs. She had to try them out, of course, but they belong to three bears. Hmm, this one looks cozy. Well, the first one was too big. Oops! The second one was big too. Oh my! The third one was just right. Oh. But when she sat, it came unglued. Oopsie Daisy! Oh dear! Perhaps I just need to go lay down. Goldilocks went upstairs and there she found three beds. Oh, so many choices. Where to sleep? I want to rest my weary head. But the first bed was too hard. Ouch, and the second too soft for me. But this third bed is just right. Oh, I think I'll just fall asleep. <gasps> While Goldie slept, the three bears came home And they could not believe their eyes oh. The door was open, was someone there? Ooh. What a strange surprise! Oh my! Someone's been eating my porridge Someone's been tasting mine too And mine's all gone, oh goodness me! What's a baby bear to do? Oh dear, have a look in the living room. Oh, oh, oh. you see what I mean? Uh -huh. Someone's been sitting in my chair, uh -huh. and someone sat in my chair too. Uh -oh. And oh my dear, what happened here? My chair has come unglued. <laughs> I think we better go upstairs and see if there's someone up there. Okay, follow me. Someone's tried out my bed. This isn't your average bed. Uh -uh. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And uh-oh, she's still there. <gasps> uh <-huh. laughs> I was just on my way out. <laughs> Ran to the woods and hid in the deep green glen. The three bears locked their doors and never saw Goldie again. And never saw Goldie again. <laughs> 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 what a relief. <laughs>